so ein Risiko eingeht?
generally in the political movement from the beginning and before even utilizing um, the new media. Uh, in Egypt, women have been, have been playing a big role. If you go to the different uh, human rights organizations, you find a lot of the figures there are uh, women. Um, most of the people I feel um, comfortable knowing they're around in a protest and comfortable that I'll be protected if we get beaten up by the state security police are actually women. So it never bothered me. It, never, it was never important for me to notice that. But since I've been asked a lot, um, the one thing I know for sure is that during the 18 days in Tahrir Square, all of the girls experienced a different sense of safety in being in a crowd uh, that we haven't experienced before Tahrir. Um, I never felt more safe, more at ease, and more um, like th these are my people, like I felt in Tahrir. And a lot of girls will tell you that. One of the biggest issues we used to face every day was sexual harassment against girls. 18 days in Tahrir, I didn't face a single sexual harassment incident. And for me, it struck me as being very funny how even Mubarak was responsible for that. Um, <laughs> but I, we, in many cases in Tahrir, especially the community that evolved during the revolution there, we realized how oppression um, made us bent out our uh, anger and bitterness towards one another. But in Tahrir, all of the gender-based, religion-based, class-based issues that you usually have to deal with on a daily basis did not exist. Thank you so much. Um, would you share this experience? <laughs>